Greetings, brothers and sisters. This is Lily Joyner with LastDayDisciples.com. LastDayDisciples.com, we're making disciples and we're making money. It's been a couple of days since my last blog. I've been trying to seek God on the direction of this blog is going to be. And I had to come to the conclusion that I'm not a preacher or a businessman. And I'm a disciple and one who is a follower of Jesus Christ. And I'm a witness. And I basically say what I see in the spirit. But I found myself saying things that preachers, people who were called, who say they're called by God, were afraid to say. And so instead of preaching, I'm going to be a witness. And I will witness on things that I see in my life, things that I see in the world. But mainly, I'm a witness of what I see in my business. You know, I have a dream. I have a dream where little black boys and little black girls will have the same opportunities as little white girls in America. I have a dream that I'll be able to walk down the street and people will judge me not for the color of my skin, but for the fullness of the Holy Spirit that dwells within me. The last command of Jesus Christ before his ascension to heaven was to go out, not sit and wait, but go out and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. It was not just the twelve, but all followers of Jesus Christ are called disciples. They were first called Christians at Antioch. Now, Christian means Christ-like or an imitator of Christ. Now, I can go on with this, but today I want to discuss discipleship, last-day discipleship, and, and what that really means. A disciple is not just a follower. In the first century, new believers believed that they had the same relationship with our risen Savior as the first disciples with the same relationship, with the same call, and also with the same responsibility. In Matthew 13, Jesus teaches what a disciple is in the parable of the sower. In verse 23, he says, As for what was sown on good soil, this is he who hears the word and grasps and comprehends it. He indeed bears fruit and yields one case, a hundred times as much as a song, and another sixty times as much as a song, and yet another thirty times as much as a song. A disciple is one that bears fruit and yields an increase of what was sown in him. A disciple is one that bears fruit and yields increase of what was sown in her. A disciple by nature, by definition, is a multiplier, not a divider, not a subtractor. I could go on about that as well, but I want to focus on what we're called to be as disciples. Jesus says that we're called to multiply. We are to add increase not only to ourself and our household but a multiplier is one that adds increase to all nations Philippians 2 and 4 says look not every man on his own thing but also every man on the things of others let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus the mind of Christ is to have the love of God, the love of your brother, neighbor, and yourself, to you love yourself. But you also need we need to share with our neighbor. And that's the whole key of discipleship. Taking what has been sown into us and reproducing ourselves in the earth. Matthew 9.37, Jesus says that the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. The purpose of LastSightDisciples.com 
is to awaken those that know that God has a purpose for their life. But for whatever reason, we decided to ignore it, run from it. But I'm sounding the alarm. It's time to wake up. I'm sounding the alarm. It's time to get about our Father's business. In another parable, Jesus teaches of the master who gives his talents to his servants with a promise there would be a day of reckoning for their account. By definition, again, a disciple is a multiplier. The master gave you a talent and a gift according to your ability. And he expects you to multiply what he's giving you and not to just sit on that talent and give him back exactly what he gave you. The skills that you will learn here will benefit you, but also I want you to take them and benefit your family and benefit the world. My business, Morgan Journal Financial Services, you can find me at LetMeTeachYouCredit.com if you are in, in the need for purchase a home or you want to uh, invest in real estate, if you are in the need of insurance, be it life, health, auto. I have taken the oath that President Obama gave to the um, graduates that, um, in 2013 at Morehouse that the gifts and talents that God has given me I'm going to help those on my street instead of giving them to those on Main Street. I'm asking you, what gifts and talents has God given you? We know that you have to eat and you have to feed your family. You have to have a job. You have to have income. But there's a gift inside of you. There's a book. There's a business. There's something inside of you that God is waiting in you, and I'm here to help you with that. You go to MorganJournalFinancial.com for more information on how you can create a home-based business out of your own home, part-time, full-time, whatever. And it's basically built on what you have, what your gifts, what your talents are. Follow my blogs at LastDayDisciples.com. Where again, we're making cycles and making money. But if you're watching this internet, this internet feed, you have access. You have technology. You have access to more technology than Bill Gates and Steve Jobs had when he started their business. All the hard work has been done. Let me show you what I've learned so you can give God what you've learned and you can share it with the world. Again, this is Lady Joyner with LastDayDisciples.com. Making disciples, making money, and I hope you're one of them. God bless.